The ABC 7 News I team is learning new details about the cyber war that's unfolding between Israel and Hamas. Hacking groups, including one that's recently targeted the Bay Area, are terrorizing innocent civilians. I team reporter Stephanie Sierra joining us now with the details on this report. Yes, you know, experts are telling us there will be significant long term implications from all this. An Israeli based cybersecurity firm says hundreds of cyber attacks are infiltrating government and news agencies in the Middle East, tampering with emergency alert systems to hacking devices inside people's homes to terrorize them. We're told some of these groups doing this recently carried out cyber attacks right here in the Bay Area. As the conflict between Israel and Hamas continues to escalate, there's a different type of battleground looming. The cyber warfare. Gil Messing is the chief of staff for Checkpoint Software, a cybersecurity firm that's based in Tel Aviv. He says he's tracking more than 40 groups conducting attacks that disrupted more than 80 Israeli websites for both government and news agencies since the start of the war. Some believed to be coordinated attacks directly with Hamas. Democratic Congressman Jim Hines from Connecticut is the ranking member on the House Intelligence Committee, who recently had a classified briefing on the matter. We did see um, cyber activity on the part of uh, uh, not just Hamas actors, but, um, but other uh, sympathizers uh, of Hamas. It is painful even to say it, but their uh, objective here was to uh, inflict the maximum number of casualties on innocent civilians. Some of the groups that are targeting Israel have a history targeting the U.S., California, and even parts of the Bay Area, including two Russian-based groups called Anonymous Sudan and Killnet, that managed to hack into the systems at the Oakland airport just six months ago. According to the company, these groups are trying to take down emergency websites and applications like Israel's Red Alert app that warns civilians about incoming missiles being launched in their neighborhood. In other instances, Messing says hackers are working with Hamas to terrorize digital billboards. We have seen in one day a very known um, billboard company here in Israel with billboards in Tel Aviv in the center of Israel. They managed to hack the company and change the footage or the visual on the billboards and show the horrific um, footage of people getting killed, the Israeli flag on fire. And From random threatening calls and text messages to haunting smart home hacks, affecting homeowners who control their appliances, lights, and other devices through an Internet connection. And all of a sudden, the entire house is live. So shades go up and down. If it's, if it's electrical shades of the windows, you can see the light going up and down. Sort of like the house is haunted by, by, by something or someone. Cyber analysts believe the hackers include kids as young as 16 years old to sophisticated state-sponsored governments conducting attacks from Russia, Indonesia, Sudan, Egypt, Jordan, even some directly on the Gaza Strip. Messing says one of those groups is named Ghosts of Palestine leaking credentials of civilians using Israeli government websites. People are amplifying information, quite often misinformation or disinformation that is consistent with their point of view. And so there's a lot of people trying to wade through everything they see on social media to figure out what is true. From hacks to data breaches, one of the largest affecting a university where Messing says hackers leaked 250,000 records of students and staff over the weekend making a series of threats about the stolen data on messaging app Telegram, saying, quote, we got them all with a knife emoji. The threats have already evolved into phishing scams, where hackers are even impersonating donation efforts. There are bad actors that look to take advantage of it, you know, via creating fake charities and fake donation sites, that sort of stuff, to try to, you know, take advantage of the situation that's going on for their own monetary gain. Now, according to Messing, the same coalition of hackers that shut down American airports a year ago also claim responsibility for attacking the websites of critical infrastructure in Israel, including the Israeli electric grid and the siren alert service we were telling you about. So for us here at home, a good reminder to update our own protections, enabling two-factor authentication we often talk about, but certainly a scary situation unfolding. Yeah, great reporting. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate it.